my name is Katie Lynch, and I'm an associate professor of English at Rockland Community College, where I also chair the honors program. And Rockland is a two-year college in the State University of New York system. Right now, I think um, in higher education, we are still grappling with a model that is very top-down, um, where students are learning from their professors, and that's how they're expected to learn, and that's how they expect to learn. Um, but I think students have so much to teach each other and also to teach their faculty. And so the more that we can distribute that learning um, across different you know, sets of texts and in different ways so that students are learning from each other, the, the more we really see um, different perspectives and different voices, which is so important to not be living in this bubble where, or echo chamber where the same ideas are repeated over and over and the same ways of thinking are repeated. Um, and so the opportunity to, to do this kind of very big project seems like a way to just diversify the kinds of learning that we do and the kinds of people that we learn from. One of the aspects of equity that I'm most interested in is this idea of pedagogical partnerships where the teacher is not just teaching the students, but is rather partnering with the students to ensure that learning happens for everyone and to engage the students as co-creators in the classroom. And social annotation in particular has the ability to do that because students can, for example, annotate a syllabus with an instructor and even lead to making changes with that instructor, or they can um, take ownership of part of a course and read text together and learn from each other and, and then teach that text to their peers in, in meaningful ways, whether that's happening asynchronously or, or in a synchronous way. Um, and that, to me, promotes a great deal of, of equity uh, because you're, you're not, again, privileging that top-down way of learning, but instead you're allowing students to own the course themselves and own the content and put their own stamp on it. I think my first piece of advice would be just to start small. Um, for example, you could start by using the tool hypothesis and, and using it yourself, um, seeing how you enjoy it. Use it to annotate anything um, on the web, which is really exciting. And then you can bring it in for your students and have them experiment with it. It's, a, it's not a very high stakes kind of um, you know, way to start is just to just to try it out. And, and I think the benefits will become apparent very quickly. Um, and then as you understand the benefits of that social way of learning, I think there'll be a need or an, a desire to make that more broad and to, and to really push it to the possible boundaries.